when it comes to ai data is golden all these large language models they get trained on a huge corpus of data as we all know if the data is of high quality the performance of model will be of high quality and vice versa garbage in garbage out if the data set is not good enough your fine tuning your training no matter how many gpus you use it won't really matter so how do you create a data set for fine tuning or training a model one way is to just browse through the web and then collect the data convert it and other ways to create a synthetic data i have already covered a lot of tools on my channel which generate synthetic data and in this video i am going to introduce you to this new tool called as vodalus if you don't know what vodalus is vodalus is a charismatic and cunning leader and to be honest creating a synthetic data set is still an enigma the vodalus is a fictional character and the leader of the house of vodalus which is a group of thieves and smugglers in the science fantasy series book of the new sun by jane wolf and vodalus is a complex and enigmatic figure in that fiction with a mysterious past and a significant influence on the series protagonist severian and by the way the repo's name is also severian 42 the creator who has created it and i will mention it him uh, more in the future uh, i mean in the later in the video because he has done a fabulous job fantastic job and uh, we will see why i am saying that anyway now you know odalas so i think that given the enigmatic complex mysterious science of generating a data set ranking and all that stuff the name is very very apt odalas which is in itself a fictional enigmatic character okay so this vodalus what it does is it um builds or it shares with you how to craft your own data set and also then how can you train the model on that data set it is a 100% locally llm power tool designed to facilitate high quality data set generation it utilizes free open source tools so you can keep everything private and within your own control after um uh, sharing this code in this github repo which i will drop the link in video description the researcher says that if you want to have more information customize it more learn all the theory and stuff then you can um access to him and then you can also support him which i would highly suggest because look these projects they take time resource and money so and i understand it first hand i go through this pain every day so uh whether you support me on coffee or not i would highly suggest after watching this video if it helps you uh, you know think about supporting this guy on um coffee anyway coming back to this vodalus project let's try to see how can we get it installed on our local system and before i do that let me actually give you a quick overview so there are a few key components first is data set generation so it utilizes local uh, large models to generate synthetic data based on wikipedia content also you can manage the llm through llm handler and i have went through the python code and it seems that uh, still the naming refers to open ai in chat gpt but in a sense it is using the uh, local model but i think the api calls are bit compatible so that is why but i think in the future version it would be good if we could change the naming convention there because that is bit confusing okay so now we know what component now we know the naming let's go to my local system and then try to get it installed and see how it works my local system is ubuntu 22.04 i have one gpu card of 22 gb of vram and my memory is 32 gb and this is my one gpu let's let me clear the screen another thing i would highly suggest is this conda So make sure that you have Conda installed. This is my Conda version. If you don't know how to install Conda, I already have done few videos around it. Just search the channel with Conda, and you should be good to go. Let me clear the screen, and then let's git clone this repo. Let me grab the repo URL from the site, which should be quick enough. Okay, so this is a URL. Let's git clone it. and then let's cd to it 
let me clear the screen and these are the content of the file now if you look here there are a few um, key files like main.py which you call first llm handler params and also wiki.py so as per um, the repo th these are the important files for example this main.py this one this imports and uh, libraries and modules sets the provider for the llm and then also it does uh, generate data function which primarily fetches wikipedia content constructs the prompts and generates data using the llm and then the uh, main also merges a data generation process using multiple workers for efficiency then we have this llm handler.py which uh, uses open ai client configuration and just simply interact with the llm through that api and then this message handling function is also done by this main llm handler.py and then we have this wiki.py which primarily loads necessary models for understanding and processing wikipedia account and also implements the semantic search for the ranking okay so if you want and also you can change the to uh, topics in the topics.py but i'm just going to go with the default and then uh, if you want to customize it you want to learn more about it i think you should contact um, from his wikipedia would be a good option so hopefully the instructions are enough to get it running on our local system now the first uh, so we have cloned the repo let's also create a conda environment and then we will do everything nice and clean in that conda environment let me clear the screen and then i am just creating a new conda environment which Primarily what it is doing is it is just keeping everything nice and clean and separate from my local system. Okay, that is done. And now let's activate it. And you will see that now it appears in the on the left hand side in parentheses. Let's clear the screen. So let's clear the screen. And then simply do pip install requirements.txt. And it is going to install everything locally here so let's wait for it to finish it is installed let's clear the screen and you can ignore these warnings in the red this is my own system okay now this is all the installation is now all you need to do in order to create the synthetic data set is run this python main.py and it will start running and create a data set out of wikipedia that's about it it is going to download the model do the semantic search and everything and you should have a proper synthetic data set after this script finishes and depending upon your configuration of system and of course your um, specs of system it is going to take a bit of a time you see it has started loading the embedding and all the uh, whitewash tensors it is loading it is going to take a bit of a time depends it's just close to 10 gig so make sure you have that much space in your system embedding is done now it is downloading the data taking fair bit of time which is expected as usual that script is still running and i guess it is going to take a few hours so i'm going to let it run instead of um, waiting for it for a few hours instead i'm going to just show you an example from um, the repo so this is sort of a data set which you should expect in getting and it's huge it's a raw file which you can also check it out on uh, the github repo but anyway you see that um, now we have the option to create a synthetic data set all locally all free by using all local tools instead of setting your api key and worrying about throttling privacy and other stuff and if you want to learn more as i said earlier you can simply uh, you know contact this person here and then check it out what's cooking so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching